The Real McCoys, starring Walter Brennan, created by Irving Pincus. Want you to meet the family known as the Real McCoys. That's Grandpappy Amos, the head of the clan. He roars like a lion, but he's gentle as a lamb. And now here's Luke, who beams with joy since he may take this Luke McCoy. From West Virginia, they came to stay in sunny California. Old Grandpappy Amos and the girls and the boys of the family known as the Reed McCoys. That sort of practice like. I don't see why they have to practice in a high-class neighborhood like this. I think it's exciting. Well, what do they come from? Well, they set up camp right next to our place. Ain't you seen it? Well, tanks or no tank, I'm gonna finish my lunch. Me too. Hey, say, Pepina, I get to thinking. I wouldn't want to take a chance in our cow getting hit by one of them tanks. Go find it and put it in the barn, would you? Well, what about my lunch, Senor Grandpa? Tomorrow's another day. <laughs> Provisions stored away. Have your men report to headquarters. Yes, sir. Uh, look, Lieutenant, uh, we really don't have to eat uh, this. Uh, this. Uh... These are combat maneuvers. You will eat combat rations. But, well, Lieutenant, not. That's all, Sergeant. Yes, sir. <laughs> Powdered eggs. Canned chip beef. Powdered milk. Kowalski? I just heard something wonderful. <laughs> well, good morning, Buttercup. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't have time to leave a note out. Uh, I'll take a gallon of milk and some fresh cream this morning. Come, stay for a few days. Senorita Betsy! Where are you now? Come out! Come out! Can't fool me. I see your footsteps. <laughs> and tracks the other side of the fence, she has joined the army. <laughs> Why didn't she go in and get her? Well, if it's not permitted, the big sign says, arrest. Say, look, we best get on over there. Mm. The pin you get back on that drainage ditch. Well, I haven't started my lunch. And I'm hot from all that running. Feed a cold and starve a fever. The ditch. <laughs> What about your cow? Well, she turned up missing. This is an army camp, not a lost and found department. <laughs> well, she ain't lost. She's right in here. Yeah, her, her tracks come right through the side fence there. Tracks? Yeah, you know, cow tracks. You plain as a nose in your face. <laughs> there are cow tracks everywhere out here in the sticks. Well, you see, it, it could be that maybe somebody just sort of helped her in through the fence. That's right. Blame the army for everything. 
she might have jumped over. Jumped over? <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess that would be possible, yeah. <laughs> uh, sure, she could have, maybe. Yeah, we're, we're not blaming nobody, you understand. We just like to get our cow and be on our way. I cannot take men from their duty to look for every stray cow. We'll look for her. This is a restricted military area. Well, now, if we could talk to the top man... You are talking to him. I'm in charge here, complete charge. Directly under Colonel Martin. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, maybe he'd just like to... I can't disturb the Colonel for every petty nuisance like this. Here, here's a claims form. You fill it in. Complete description and valuation. Attach affidavits and invoices. Have it notarized and forward it in triplicate to regional headquarters in San Diego. San Diego? Oh, no, Bessie couldn't have wandered that far. <laughs> See, now, look, son, we don't know nothing about no papers. All we want to get is our cow. Look, I have done all I can for you. Now... Yes. But a disabled tank? The broken water pump, where is it? right in front of our place. We've got to get it off that road. A truck convoy's due by there any minute. A little road right there could slip up. Grandpa, that'd put him right over by our barn. Can he go another 100 yards? And we'll have him pull up that side road at E4. The repair truck will be there in an hour. And remind him it's battle conditions. He's to get it out of sight. Grandpa, he ain't giving us our cow. What are you helping him with his tank for? Now, Luke, I'm ashamed of you, downright ashamed. There's one thing us McCoys is, 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 is neighborly. <laughs> you grandpa! You will never guess what came up the road and is now behind our barn. Your army tank. You'll never guess. You'll... You guessed. <laughs> Back to the ditch. <laughs> well, that's right, thoughtful Hessie. I could sure use some nice cool cider. And cookies, too. Uh, they're for the soldiers in the tank. Oh? They're just the cutest boys. One's real tall from Atlanta, Georgia. They're going to be around here on maneuvers for another week. <laughs> Well, you're kind of gussied up, ain't you? <laughs> like he's kind of on maneuvers, too, huh? Oh, Grandpa. <laughs> Come on, Luke, get what you do. That sure is a great idea you got, Grandpa. It sure is pretty slick, won't it? It sure is. <laughs> Will you show that lieutenant there's more than one way to skin a cow? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> but we better get over and get this sign posted on the gate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's something coming, Luke. Yeah, our first visitor. Yeah. If we handle this right, he won't be the last. Afternoon. More power to you. Where's the tank? The, the what? The tank. Oh, the tank. It's up on the roof. On the roof? <laughs> well, it's the best place in the world for it. You see, up there, the water runs downhill into the kitchen without no pumping. No, I didn't mean... Don't be an any loop. I don't think these gentlemen are looking for a water tank. That's right. It must be a gas tank. You don't seem to understand. I'm trying to locate... An army tank? An army tank. You know, with a cannon. <laughs> you know, boom! <laughs> boom! Hey, say, do that again, would you? Just a boom, boom part. Oh, sure. <laughs> All right, Pops, never mind. I'll find it myself. But you did say boom, boom, didn't you? <laughs> You're not gonna let me in? Oh, no, we can't. You see, this is a civilian reservation. But you do have the tank. Oh, yeah, we got a tank. Yeah, 
I know, I know, on the roof. <laughs> I'm not sure what you two tank-nabbing lemon abners are up to. Me? I just make a report to the lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs> you was great, Grandpa. Hey, what about you, Sam? Well, I expect we'll be getting more company now. Yeah. And when that lieutenant gets here, we'll just ask him for the cow nice and polite. Oh, sure, sure, look. I don't want you to do no yelling or nothing. Well, now, look, when did you know me to raise my voice? <laughs> You. Well, Lieutenant, come on in. Come on, sit yourself down. I haven't got time to sit down. I came here for just one reason. Well, now, before we discussed anything, uh, we'd like to talk to you about our cow. Now, if you wish to, to leave us, look around some. I told you what to do. Look, I know it don't seem like much to you, but it's mighty important to us. You see, that's our herd. <laughs> You're bothering me about a mangy old cow when I'm in the middle of a war? What? Right now, the United States Army 22nd Armor Division is engaged in actual combat maneuvers. But it ain't real. It's real enough. And I don't mind telling you that at this very moment, my command is in desperate straits. I've been flanked. <laughs> hey, that sounds kind of serious. It'll be even more serious if I don't get back right away. Fifty men are about to be ambushed without their leader. <laughs> Grandpa. Hey, now, I'll do the talking, Luke. What? Hey, now, if you want to uh, settle this cow business, you could go right back, you see. Uh, her name is Bessie. Where's my tank? <laughs> you want to do nothing about this cow? Look, I asked you about my tank. <laughs> oh, you got a tank mission, huh? <laughs> well, uh, this is a farm. Uh, this ain't a lost and found department. Say, Grandpa. You're interrupting, Luke. And now about this tank that got away from you. Gra Grandpa, can I see you in the kitchen for It me? ain't polite, Luke. I, I, I want to see you. Excuse us. Care to look at a magazine, Sergeant? <laughs> You're just making trouble. Now, look, maybe we ought to file a report like the lieutenant said. Are you out of your mind? Well, Grandpa, the lieutenant's got more on his mind besides a cow. Well, I'm still going to handle this my way. All right. All right, then. I just ain't going to have nothing more to do with it. Well, suit yourself. Look, McCoy. I've wasted enough time here already. I want my tank, and I happen to know it's right here on these grounds. Well, what makes you think so? Well, the tank tracks go right through your gate. Oh, them tracks is everywhere around here out in the sticks. I tell you, that tank is here. <laughs> I tell you what you do. You write out a description of that, you see. How high it is, how wide it is, how many windows in it, what color it is. And then if I do find a tank, you see, I'll know it for sure if it's yours. <laughs> if you don't mind, would you make that out in triple tickets? <laughs> All right, McCoy. You ask for it. I'm reporting this to my colonel. Oh, he's one fellow I ain't met yet. <laughs> and I'll tell you exactly what's going to happen to you. Under Title 18, Section 641 of the U.S. Code, unlawful seizure of government property is punishable by a fine of $10,000, a prison sentence of 10 years, or both. Grandpa, I'm calling him back. Hey, stay where you are, Luke. We got him on the run now. But, Grandpa, you can't keep it. You just can't. You heard what he said. It's law-breaking. I know a place in Mexico that will never find us. I think I better stop parking. <laughs> Look, Grandpa, when the Colonel comes, you just tell him straight out that it was all a mistake. Look, us McCoys is all that stood up for our rights. But you can't fight a whole army. Now, look, Luke, we're both in this thing together. A wrong's been done us, and, and we're just trying to set it right. Look, Grandpa, I always done what you asked. But I'm afraid this is one time I'm going to have to stand against you. Because what you're doing is wrong for all of us. Now, when they come back here, I want you to apologize and give him back his tank. Because if you don't, I will.
waving a white flag, huh, Luke? All right, Luke. I'll go along with you. You see this how you all sit again me. Oh, it ain't like that at all, Grandpa. You just can't imagine it. Me, a McCoy, forced to surrender. That lieutenant wasn't the only one that was flanked. <laughs> You promised. How do you do, sir? I'm Colonel Martin. Oh, well, I do, Colonel. I'm Luke McCoy. This here's my grandpa, Amos McCoy. That's the man behind all this, sir. Yeah, he's right, Colonel, but the truth is, I ain't a guinea army. In fact, I'm, I'm kind of proud of it. I told him about Title 18, Section 641. The boy here says I'm bringing shame on the family name, but I meant to do just the opposite, but I never had no choice. I knew you'd change your tune. I was hoping that somebody would come along and, and see how bad we was getting treated. All right, you're sorry. Now, give us back our tank. No, I won't. <laughs> I'll tell you, this gate is closed and ain't going to open. Yes, Grandpa, put that down. I told you he was a troublemaker, sir. Now, I'll either be standing straight up or laying out flat, but nothing in between. I ain't going to come and beg into you on my knees. Now, listen. Lieutenant, why don't you go over to the house and get a drink of water? <laughs> water, That's sir. an order. Yes, sir. <laughs> you see, Colonel, now, Grandpa, here's... Look, you better go to the house, too. Well, Grandpa, just you know, See that the lieutenant gets a clean glass. <laughs> Grandpa, I... That's an order, too, Luke. <laughs> Yeah, it's a nice, sturdy fence you got here. Yeah, well, it's as good as it come, I guess. All the post creosoted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that uh, sort of keeps the rod out and keeps the cattle in. How many heads of milk are now? Well, now that varies considerable. Yesterday, I milked one cow. Today, I, well, I milked one less. Solar? No, straight. Through the gate. I guess you got in with your soldiers. You think my boys uh, helped her a little? Well, I, I ain't thought much on it. You know, this is the first I heard about your car. Yeah, I figured it was. That lieutenant, he know about this? Oh, yeah. He was the first fellow I talked to. Right neighborly, too. Wouldn't let me in to get her, of course, because it's a restricted area, but... But he gave me a bunch of papers to fill out in triple ticket. Excuse me a minute. Command post, Colonel Martin. The colonel's using the radio. It's probably sending for the civil authorities. <laughs> you mean like the sheriff? You may not know it, but your grandfather's in for trouble. <laughs> not only the animal, I want the man responsible. Yeah, weather's warming up a bit. Yeah, it sure is. It's a lot cooler up in back of the barn there, where there's always a breeze, if there is one. Won't you come in? Why, thank you. Senor Grandpa, open the gate. Well, you didn't think he wouldn't. I never expect him to give in so peaceable. Yes, it is a little cooler up here, isn't it? Yeah, you get a, a breeze off on that hill there sometimes. Nice looking tank you got here. Where? <laughs> oh, there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mighty handy. Wouldn't want to be without one. Doesn't give much milk, though, does it? No, they don't, but they sure put an end to any chicken thieves you might have. I understand they're uh, expensive to operate. Yes, I, I understand so, too, but not in gas and oil. But we're practically going broke with cookies and cider. <laughs> cider? Yeah. And say, speaking of Sidey, we might find a drop or two up the house. Lead away. Uh, Mr. McCoy, uh, 
That missing cow of yours might be just wandering back any minute. Seems possible. Now, I could, uh, could have this tank taken away so it wouldn't frighten her. Well, now, that, that appears to be a good idea. Well, side is waiting. <laughs> Shall I take the prisoner, sir? You report back to that tank. I want it running in 30 minutes. But, sir, the... And don't forget to close the gate after you. Mr. McCoy's cow may be back soon, and I don't want her lost again. His cow? <laughs> yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. <laughs> that boy is going to make a real fine officer someday. Just as soon as he learns to forget a little bit about rules and learn a little bit about people. Well, now, you, you know, he just might have that. But I have the same trouble as the young brush here. They sure need a lot of learning, don't they? I beg your pardon, Colonel, but could you tell me what you decided? Why, uh... Mr. McCoy and I decided on cider. Uh, cider? Cider? Hey, look, see if Haskett left any of them cookies go along with it, would you? Go on, now. Mr. McCoy, next time you turn your cow out to graze, I wish you'd be more careful. Yes, sir. I wouldn't turn her out along that north fence where the troops are camped. I believe you're right, sir. Let her out along the uh, east side for a while. But ain't that where you officers is? That's right. Oh, Colonel. <laughs>